Oh my word, y'all. It's finally here. It's fine. Always one of my favorite all-time teams to do. Not this team specifically, but the defending, the reigning, the current NBA champion. This year, I had to wait. We're about midway. Actually, this might be the midway point of our all-time team series, but the season was delayed. We all know the story. We do have an NBA champ, and it is the Milwaukee Bucks. Booker, the drive, gets inside, leans in, knocked away, it's stolen by Holiday. Phoenix has to foul. And as per usual, this lineup is going to be filled with a bunch of the champs. I wasn't sure if 2K, at this point I'm recording it, they haven't dropped any new like finals related content. So if they do after I make this video, well, that's just too bad. But don't even worry, because this team in honor of the Bucks, the champs, going to be fire. And as we get into our lineup here, as per usual, we'll build it together. Let's start with the champs. I've got five members of the 2021 Milwaukee Bucks, the NBA champions. And let's go, y'all. A good mix. Two in the starters, three off the bench. And of course, all led by Giannis on Tedekumpo Invincible. I don't know if they're going to make a GOAT Giannis card. I mean, he probably deserves it the way he played, but this one, basically a perfect card. I'm good with it. And speaking of the way he played in his career, Giannis now, an unreal resume. Five-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, DPOY most improved, and now a Finals MVP. Unreal stuff, Giannis. What, he, he is just skyrocketing up the all-time rankings, man. Joining him in the starting lineup, Chris Middleton. Middleton, a great story uh, from second round draft pick right to G League to NBA champ. Chris Middleton, 11th in points in Bucks franchise history. He's a two-time All-Star, just averaged 24 a game in the finals. Drew Holiday off the end of the bench. Yeah, 2K's got to update, drop a new Drew. I couldn't wait for it, but this Holiday card will do just fine. 18 points a game in his first season with Milwaukee. Also made all defense and clamp Chris Paul in the finals. Couple big men off the bench too. Brooke Lopez, third all-time in blocks per game in Bucks franchise history all defense last year 12 points five boards a game in three seasons not too shabby and of course Bobby Portis quickly became a fan favorite 11.7 rebounds per game in his first season with Milwaukee also had 16 points in game six moving along let's dial the clock the timer the space machine time machine I don't know what I'm saying explain yourself Let's go all the way back to 1971, the first edition of the Milwaukee Bucks championship team. And as Rat filling out our starting lineup beautifully, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar did lead the Bucks to a championship that year. He won finals MVP. He is first all time in Bucks franchise history in points per game, rebounds, blocks. Yeah, everything. Minutes played as well. He was a six time all-star, five time all-NBA, three time MVP. Him and Giannis, man, they run the Milwaukee streets. And also big O Oscar Robertson, King's version, but he was a part of that championship team. Second all-time in assists per game in Bucks franchise history, a two-time all-star. He was pretty productive even in his later years. And just to shout out some honorable mentions from the 1971 team, Bob Dandridge, John McLaughlin, they don't have good cards. And from the current Bucks, I didn't mention this earlier, PJ Tucker, Pat Connaughton, Bryn Forbes. I could have put some of those guys on this team, but you know, we had to make some tough cuts. Now we dial the clock back forward a little bit. We're going to get a mix of players, four guys from the 1990s slash 2000s maybe some 1980s in there as well. And here's where I had to stretch things just a bit with this team. Uh, first of all, though, Glenn Big Dog Robinson, a two-time All-Star, was all-rookie, averaged 21 points a game in eight seasons with Milwaukee, very underrated all-time. In addition, Desmond Mason, really cool card in 2K, was an awesome dunker back in the day, averaged 14 points a game in four seasons. Ray Allen, this is, of course, a Sonics version, but Ray played a substantial amount of time with the Bucks, I think six seasons, something like that. A three-time All-Star, star made an all nba team he's 10th in total points and still first in three pointers made and finally the one card i'm really you guys might yell at me in the comments for this one but i did include gary payton gary payton played 28 games with milwaukee he was acquired at a trade deadline in 2003 went on to make an all-star game also averaged 19 points in the uh, a game in the playoffs. so he was productive but obviously he was only there for a short time but guys there are not a lot of great point guard cards that are eligible for the bucks lineup like i'm not using this drew hall 
holiday come on so gary payton technically did play for the bucks if you want to yell at me go ahead in the final two spots in our lineup you know i had to include thon maker just a sick 2k card he always gets one played 160 games with the bucks averaged five points a game but i had to use them and as a shout out to a legend sydney moncrief an all-time great buck he's second all-time in games played five-time all nba he won two defensive player of the year awards he deserves more respect he does have an ascension reward card but i didn't get it so yeah i'm out of luck there also two more huge honorable mentions y'all please listen to me as i say these michael red may be the greatest buck at least during the 2000s stretch of the team he's got an unlimited reward card which again i didn't get so i'm straight out of luck also junior bridgman who is first all time in games played in bucks franchise history i think he was a set completion reward so yeah would have loved to have those two cards just couldn't make it happen but in honor of the 2021 champion bucks also 1971 uh we put together a great lineup and i gotta take a w myself oh and i gotta be honest the bucks jerseys and court just beautiful we got these clean whites my opponent got a really really good team in the sonics jerseys you already know just based on the uh just based on the jerseys this is gonna be a great battle watch me get a bait right out the gates watch me get a bait no hold on hold on uh yeah <laughs> i didn't press the steal button i didn't think he'd be dumb enough to pass that my bad my bad we play in d though yeah that's awful that is a bailout i should have stole that my word that horrible lack of a steal on that last possession must have shown you guys this is obviously my first game of the day i am a bit rusty but hopefully i get things figured out nice and quickly Giannis. yeah just score in the paint like you did over and over again against phoenix throw this pass my oh my word my defensive strategy really relies on people wanting to pass the ball and then me capitalizing on mistakes so far my dude's just dribbling uh <laughs> this could be tough in light of that but at least i'm still scoring good stuff big up there we go finally we get a steal because guess what he passed the rock love to see it wait a minute Giannis. what it's just back up for a three well i mean at least it was a green i guess Bro, Oscar is carrying right now. Look at me inside again. This is totally not my game. I've scored 10 points and haven't even attempted a three. That is so weird. Come on, we out in transition. Who wants to shoot my first three? Kareem on the step back? Uh, nope. Uh, Big O. Oh my word, Big O was wide open again. Did somebody change some sliders? How come I'm never open for threes in this game? Kareem right to... No, Kareem. You're supposed, to... You're supposed to dunk that. Good shot, I guess. Another two. I should be up a lot more because I'm like, I'm scoring more, but twos are just not worth as much as threes and now he hits a three on me okay i gotta get this figured out y'all perfect oh there it is there it is right on cue the Giannis quick stop my first deep attempt of the game bro who let me get my hands on invincible Giannis? that is dirty please miss that yeah he missed it he, no he made it okay well what can you do from the same spot the same shot bro sometimes i can't get the quick stop timing down but today i am locked that was middleton after Giannis. just perfect stuff from this team once i start playing better defense we're gonna rage once i start playing better defense we're gonna force a rage quit i already know bro one more dude i can't i can't i can't i'm gonna show like 10 minutes of highlights from this first quarter <laughs> i didn't shoot any threes until i shot all the threes and made each of them amazing just like the bucks in game six of the finals actually games three through six they won four in a row i am very very locked in in this game let's go we got the bench in now gary payton brooke lopez some other people too let's figure out how to get a quit let's figure out how to force a rager that is glenn robinson they call the man big dog for a reason big time finish yo the deeper we get into this game i actually don't think i'm gonna be able to make this opponent quit he's not too bad at the game oh my word right on cue that was all cpu i had nothing to do with that steal but yeah he's actually playing me pretty well knows what he's doing out here playing solid defense except right there you know i'm gonna just play my game i'm gonna stop trying to predict the flood or not if it happens it happens and we'd love to see look at brooke lopez down the other end yes sir gary p Bro, Brooke Lopez was making plays in game six. Uh, he made a play there too. Good jump or two on this Gary Payton. The big problem for me right now is I can't really defend with this team. Like we just, we don't have a lot of great defenders. It is what it is. I'm definitely going to be able to outscore him, outscore my problems. But uh, unless I can defend, this is going to be tight matchup. Wow. Good bailout shot by Ray Allen. Oh, and another one too slightly early i've lost the ability to shoot with the ray allen base recently it's weird like that did feel like it should have been a green obviously it wasn't 
Oh my word. And there we go. Not being able to play defense. He's just killing me with Ben Simmons. That's tough, but at least I have a seven point lead heading towards halftime. Perfect. Let's go. We do get the quit. Okay. GG's to my opponent. I like that dude. Like he was good at the game. He had a good team. He possibly could have beat me if we rematched. You know, he was, he was all right, but I go up 12 after finally getting a bait to come through and a good finish from who else? Giannis to close the curtains. And one more look at our champion lineup. I got to shout out Giannis, man. He went wild. There are a couple quick stops and then the uh, game ending dunk for me. Invincible Giannis, so good. If they make a GOAT Finals MVP edition or something like that, like that's going to be unbelievable. But for now on the all-time Milwaukee Bucks team, I mean, you just love to see it. That was really, really fire. Oh, wow. By the way, I just looked at my notes um, because I, I keep notes for these videos. I could have used my boy in this video. <laughs> the guy I grinded for so long in limited form. For Moses Malone. I think he played three seasons there. He was past his prime, but see, I could have bent the rules even further. No regrets. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know. I, I could have used Moses. But more importantly, our scoreboard for the all-time teams. Yeah, Jay Canada, 15 and two in the all-time team series. That, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud of myself. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. I had to move the Bucks squad builder up here in my schedule because, of course, they are NBA champions. I'll get to the Phoenix Suns eventually here too. Man, the Suns had a great run. Let me know what you guys thought of the finals down below. I guess I haven't said, but I, as like a neutral observer, thought this was the best finals we've had probably since 2016 Cavs Warriors. Like it was so good. And I hope you thought this video was uh, pretty good as well. If you did drop a thumbs up, please down below. Also subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. Peace.